Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel or have not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. To be quite honest, I've been pretty busy the last week, and I haven't really been on Instagram as much, so I, don't, I haven't really seen too many new releases. I've kind of been focusing more on some older products, and then um, the new products that I was kind of looking into, they weren't really like brand new uh, it's what i picked up during the sephora sale so i did just have a video go up um, about everything that i did buy during the sephora sale if you want to check that out i'll have it in the cards and i also did a full live stream where i talked through all my recommendations for the sephora sale if you're interested in that as well though i think by the time this video goes up the sale will be mostly over i think <laughs> so we have quite a lot of things to go through just looking at trend mood so let me scoot and let's get started all right, starting from the top here on Trendmute. Okay, so I saw this and I thought it was actually kind of cute. This is the SpongeBob and Wet and Wild collab. <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, someone needs to do, and I say someone because I just don't know if I'd have the time to do all that research, just a history of like all of the like brand and company collabs of the last, I think just like the last year. There's been so many collabs like the Chipotle, the Wet and Wild and SpongeBob, Disney. I mean, you could have a whole video of just Disney collabs on their own. But this, I actually, I, I hate to admit it, but I think this is actually pretty cute. Specifically, the highlighter. There's a gold highlighter that looks like SpongeBob. And there's a highlighting brush that also looks like SpongeBob. And then, of course, they have makeup sponges that look like SpongeBob and Patrick and Squidward. And I don't know. It's just really cute. <laughs> like, I know, like... This is definitely stuff that would be like for like display, right? I don't think I would buy like the eyeshadow palette or the sponges to actually like use them. And since I really don't need any more display pieces, like I think we're, I think I'm all right with this. But I did think it's, it's really, really cute. You know, dang it. I really don't, I mean, I feel like this is probably just mostly go over my head because I never really understood the appeal of these. Um, but Quay? way the sunglass brand where it seems like a lot of influencers and celebrities collab with this brand just to make sunglasses and they're expensive sunglasses they're like 80 90 to 100 dollars sunglasses i just i have never been one to pay a lot of money for sunglasses and i know that for people who like need regular glasses and therefore need to pay a little bit more to get like prescription sunglasses like that's one thing i can understand that but like for regular people like I just never saw the appeal of spending like $80 on a pair of sunglasses, you know, especially like for a collab. Like I, I anyway, this goes over my head. I'm not interested. I never, I never, I don't think I've spent more than like $18 on a pair of sunglasses. And that's the most recent pair that I got on Amazon a couple of months ago because they were really cute and all my sunglasses, I either lost them or they broke in my purse because I tend to just throw them into my purse. But anyway. That being said, I don't get the appeal of the sunglasses and why they keep just like why they seem to be popping up in the beauty space. Like Trendmood posted about these. So if you understand, if you're interested, please let me know down below. I want to hear from other people on this. Ooh, so Holo Taco came out with a new collection, and I love Holo Taco. I'm wearing Holo Taco right now. This is the new pastel rainbow collection, and while these are very very cute, I think a it's a little similar to the shades they just came out with. Like this is the yellow shade from the rainbow collection, and then this is the mint shade called I think it's called Mint Money, and. As cute as these are, I know I don't really need them. I have a whole drawer of Holo Taco nail polishes right next to me, so I know I really don't need them, but they look really, really cute. Yeah, they're adorable. But I, I don't think I'm going to get personally anything from this collection just because uh, while I wear pastels every now and then in color, typically like this, the the nail polishes that I love the most are the white, the black, and then just the Holo Tacos. Those are like my go-tos, my favorites. I love those. So I know I wouldn't get as much use out of these before they probably either dried out or went bad. So Ilamasqua, Ilamasqua, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is coming out with some lip balms. They're called Hydra Lip Tints and they're like, there's like a stick of shade in the middle and then like they mix together with the other shade to make one lip balm shade. And then there's color correcting bronzers. Um, the lip tints are $26 and I am still a firm believer that you do not need to spend a lot of money for a lip balm. You can find a really great, cheap, affordable lip balm. And then that color correcting bronzer, it's $45 for like a split pan bronzer. I don't know. I'm not interested in any of this, but would you guys find any of this interesting? Like, cause personally, I don't really like split pan powder products that you're supposed to mix. Cause that's what I'm getting from this is that you're supposed to combine of those two to get the shade. So I'm not a huge fan of those. 
because also they get messy and I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so that's just freaking adorable. So Huda Beauty is coming out with a mini version of their loose powder. It's called the Baby Bake, which god damn it, is that not just, that's cute. That's, that's, that's really good. And it's basically a miniature version of their loose powder and the lid comes up and it's got a little poof poof in the lid, which is also really cool. <laughs> like I hate to admit it. Um, I kind of want to try it. Like it looks really cool. This would be perfect for traveling, which not traveling. Not now, not anytime soon. I do know that the CDC said once you're fully vaccinated, they said that you're like okay to travel within the country. But still, I'm not traveling anywhere anytime soon. But this looks adorable. <laughs> it's $19, which is steep. I don't know how, what like the actual, um, what I'm trying to say with this, ounce, ounces or amount of product in it is. I, I want to see like the, the actual size. It looks like it's like a, a third the size of the full size powder, which I don't know. I mean, it's it's overpriced because of course it is, but it looks so god dang cute. I I want to try. It looks it's a little baby powder. I want a little baby powder. <laughs> now, speaking of Disney collabs, I literally just mentioned this. Uh, I guess Makeup Revolution is doing another Disney collab. This time it looks to be Aristocats themed, which okay, cute. I loved Marie, of course. Uh, I don't start fights, but I'll finish them. Like she's coolest cat ever um the palette it just it's it seems kind of like a hodgepodge um yeah the lashes yeah the lashes just look okay the compact paw print mirror is kind of cute not gonna lie there's also some lip glosses and i think a highlighter compact too which hmm. i just feel like at this point i am just over the disney collabs is anyone else just like sick of seeing disney like everywhere i don't know Okay, let's see what this is. Um, KKW is coming out with new eye contour duos. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, someone I follow on Instagram commented on this post and just said, no, heart. And it just cracked me up. Oh my God, because that's, uh, that's, okay, we'll get into it. So these are eye contour duos from KKW. And apparently... These are specifically designed to sculpt and contour the eyes. These easy to use powder duos have soft and creamy formulas that blend easily into the skin using the dual ended eye contour brush. Ooh, does anyone else hate dual ended brushes? Cause I do, I'm not a huge fan of dual ended brushes. Um, so apparently Kim Kardashian says, it's not enough to contour your face. You had to contour your eyes, contour your, contour your nose, contour everything. So that sounds stupid. The $24, you could just use brown eyeshadow. Like, almost, I'm pretty sure if you're into makeup, you probably have these eyeshadow shades already. What the heck? Oh my god. And getting the, the, the pack, getting the product with the brush is $36. $36 for two brown eyeshadows and a double ended brush. Wow. <laughs> I'm probably behind on this because I really didn't know that Hermes did makeup. Um, so they have silky blush powders, which they are a $77, $77. And they only come in eight shades and they're all super light. And the packaging, honestly, for a $77 blush, that packaging is just kind of like, eh. Like, no, I'm not even in my wildest dreams would I look at this because, eh, no, not interested. And also now I know a new thing. I didn't, I had no idea that Hermer did makeup. So ColourPop is coming out with some quads. Uh, I mean, it's not a be wow unless there's more ColourPop than I can freaking handle. Um, the quads look cute. They kind of look like they're going for dupes of like the, the packaging and everything reminds me of like those Dior backstage eyeshadow palettes that's what it, i'm kind of getting the vibe of here but i know for sure i don't need any of these eyeshadows i mean they're really cute i think this would be great for like beginners like a cute little gift for like a tween or a teenager who's like first getting into makeup i think they're cute um they're nine dollars each yeah that's a bit steep considering they used to have like the 12 pans at like what 12 dollars so four pans for nine hmm. but yeah i don't know I haven't placed a ColourPop order in forever. I've, I've had it up to here with ColourPop, to be frank. And yeah, I really don't know if there's anything at this point that would get me 
like excited again about ColourPop or if I've just like blown past them. What about you guys? Are you still like looking out for ColourPop's releases? Are you still interested in what they have? Or if you're not, what would it take to get you to go back to buying from ColourPop? I'm very interested. Let me know. So Hip Dot, which is basically just the company that does nothing but collabs, collabed with Reese's. <laughs> Quite honestly, like, I have a friend who, I, I hope you're not watching this video, Brooke, shush. But I have a friend who loves Reese's, and her birthday is coming up in a couple months, and honestly, this is, like, what I would get, like, my friend who loves Reese's, like, as a gift, because this would be adorable, right? But, like, for the average makeup wearer, who's that into, like, Reese's, you know? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I enjoy a good Reese's cup. They are delicious but not enough to want to buy the collection. But see, that's the thing. Like, I think of these kind of collab things. I'm thinking, oh, this would be, like, such a cute gift to give someone because it's, like, a collectible. It's, like, flashy. It's, like, new. It's limited edition. Um, but, yeah, so I might look into buying this for my friend for her birthday unless you watch this video, and then I'm probably going to buy you something else. But, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cute. So here's another kind of random collab. Um, L'Oreal collabed with Eli Saab. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but um, he is a fashion designer, specifically, I believe, haute couture and wedding gowns, um, and there's a collab with L'Oreal. So <laughs> there's like an eyeshadow palette, there's some lip glosses, there's some lipsticks, um, and it looks, honestly, the lip glosses are actually kind of cute look. I mean, they're very neutrally, but they're like kind of cute neutrals, and I guess there's a mascara as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just another checkbox of like kind of a random collab. I guess a fashion house collab makes a little bit more sense than say like a Reese's collab or something. But it just seems kind of mediocre looking at like these shades and everything. What do you think? Ooh, so new release from Viseart. There is a new eyeshadow palette called the Soleil La Pla Plague. Soleil La Plague <laughs> palette. Um, it's 40... F nope. Oh. Beach Day Dream Sami Shay from our Koi Pal 44. Is it really only $44? Is it? I don't know why I'm thinking that that can't just be $44. I mean, Viseart's expensive unless they're like changing and doing a different. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, the palette itself, to be quite honest, is just very neutrally with like that pop of blue. I mean, there's some yellows in here, but like cover up that blue and it's quite frankly it's a neutral palette um i do think it's interesting which shades they picked to be shimmers versus mattes but i don't yeah nothing else is really actively pulling me towards this palette i think a few other people that i follow have picked this up but i haven't actually watched any reviews so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a skip for me all right so um i I mean, I feel like everyone thought this was an April Fool's joke when it first got released, and then everyone was like, oh, so you really have no idea, like, what to release next, do you? ABH is coming out with makeup removing wipes. Why? I can pretty much guarantee no one asked for this. And it's it's just an odd thing. Ugh. It's so strange. I mean, I've been doing my best to cut down on my makeup wipe usage. Um, I've been using makeup erasers for the most part, but like, why? Why and why, why now? All right, so this blush palette from Sigma looks really cute, but it's $49. $49 from a blush palette from Sigma. That's too steep for me. I, I'm not gonna spend that much money on a blush palette from them. I mean, it's very cute. I like the colors and the brushes. The, the blush brushes look really cute. If anything, I might actually look into blush brushes because I'm looking to get a smaller but still fluffy blush brush because I have this one. I love this one from Real Techniques, but it's, just, it's like really, really big, which is great for some looks like this today. I just did like a, a purple blush just kind of all over the place. But when I want a nice fluffy, application that's not this big I've been, I've been looking for a different brush and i don't know if real techniques has this brush but just smaller um and looking at the brushes that sigma has here it looks like one of them is like exactly what i was looking for so i might look into that one br brush but the palette itself the 49 dollars that's just way too steep for me 
Okay, so um, another ColourPop release. I guess they came out with a new mascara called the Act Natural Mascara. I tried their uh, the first mascara they came out with, and it was no, it was I'm not I was not a fan. It was like dry, but then also flaky. I just was not a fan, honestly, and quite honestly. My favorite cheap mascara of all time is the Essence Lash Princess in the green bottle. You, you really can't do better than that. It's such a good mascara. It is so great, but yeah because of my bad experience and because of the fact that a mascara isn't going to be enough to get me to go back to ColourPop at this point <laughs> so i don't know i might try to see if other people buy this and review it but because of how many things ColourPop comes out with to be honest the only people i've seen reviewing or talking about ColourPop at all have been the people getting it in pr Okay, and I think that is going to be it for today's Be Wow. I didn't really do updates at the beginning of the video, but like all the new products that I've recently bought were in that Sephora sale video, so make sure you check that out if you're interested in all the new products that I picked up. And I think we are good. <laughs> As always, let me know down below what you thought of these new releases, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.